How you doing, Guardians? This is Beard vs. The World. I'm Hunter V, and this is my second video in preparation for House of Wolves. This video, video I'll be talking about Prison of Elders, uh, info about it, and what I'm going to do to prepare for it. First of all, Prison of Elders is a brand new mode we haven't dealt with in Destiny yet. It's more like a horde mode. You're going to be dealing with waves upon waves of enemies in a very close combined space. So I really don't see much opportunity to cheese stuff like you would with uh, Crota or other things where you can kind of despawn, despawn enemies. I don't see that happening in this. The space looks too small. There's lots of little places you can hide and stuff like that, which is very pleasing to me to see. I like to see that Destiny is evolving and kind of adding more reasons to play it to the list of reasons that there is to play it. Uh, there is going to be four different levels for this. Level 28, that will include matchmaking. All other levels will not include matchmaking. Uh, so my advice to you is that hopefully you uh, you mic up, you talk to, you communicate with your level 28, where we did matchmaking with, and then you guys just continue on to the level 32 and level 34, and hopefully able to finish level 35. Now, if you watch the reveal, this is not going to be an easy task. In the reveal, you're all over level 34, going to level 34. Um, Prison of Elders, and they weren't able to complete it within the hour that was allotted to them. Um, you probably have a lot of criticism about the way they played. I know I did, but they were just excited to play it, so um, as you can see, they kind of just didn't really stick to teamwork until later in the levels, later in the rounds, and it kinda, they kind of ran out of time. Um, but what I did see, it looked fantastic. I kind of wish they did finish it so we could have seen what happened at the end, like how were you rewarded. I did some research online and I will give the information information towards the end of, end of this video. So level 28 matchmaking uh, and then there will also be a level 32. Level 32 the way it works is that it will always be the level 34 of the previous week and then a the level 34 will always change from week to week. The and then there's a level 35 which is called Skola's Revenge. That will never change. That will always be the same. Um, the way this works is that there will be five rounds. Each round will consist of three waves, and then that will that will uh, ins that will consist of critical objectives: um, disarm mines, destroy mines, or eliminate targets. Now we saw this in the reveal. The way it works to eliminate target is that you have to eliminate a target before they get to a certain point. If you can't stop them before you get to a certain point, you just instantly die. And we're all used to situations, if you ever play Destiny, we're all used to situations where you have to do something within a certain amount of time, like the Death Singer or the Oracles and stuff like that, where if you just don't do them, your whole team just wipes. And that's what happens. Um, the way it goes, you drop into Prison of Elders, you're into like an airlock space, and then you're approached by the Servitor, and then uh, the Servitor tells you what you need to do, and then one of the chambers open up. Each, there's four different chambers. The way it looks is that you know each chamber will either hold a cabal, a fallen, a vex, or a hive. These are random. Um, I've also heard rumor that even though it might be a fully cabal um, wave, waves, that there might be some other enemy like fallen or hive that kind of pop in there every once in a while. These have modifiers. We saw these in the thing. We saw a modifier where you start off with with a super. But then it trinkles down after a while, so it looks like you have to be constantly killing things to keep your super. Um, the two modifiers that I found through Wikipedia, which I thought were awesome, was Airborne. Players deal more damage while in the air, and then there's Grounded. Players take more damage while in the air. So if you're a Warlock that likes using that floating ability, that'd be perfect for you. Warlocks in general, they can glide, they have more air time than everybody else. But if you're using the Grounded, if you have the Grounded ability, grounded modifier that warlock might not be your best choice or you might just have to get used to a different type of style of gameplay which I like but there's also you know the the burns there's also juggler there's also um, light switch stuff like that stuff we're used to there is but there's quite a few um, they say there's eight there's about eight different modifiers but I think there's more during the reveal I think they said there's about 20 different modifiers you can have um, I will put description of the modifiers and description of the different missions. Uh, when I say I mean critical missions, in the in the description. 
uh, when you're done with all rounds and typically people are saying that it takes about 40 rounds if you're able to just go straight through with just a couple of resets it should take about 40 minutes um, that you should be able to complete one of these stages one of these levels uh, when I say levels I mean level 28 32 34 35 but the only bad thing about it that I see is that there is no it's not like a raid there is no checkpoints there is no save spots so you either gotta finish it or you don't there's no in between so with that said make sure you bring a team that is communicating that is using mics if you're using stuff like destinylg.com.org or destiny tracker mic is definitely gonna be a must because if you got someone that's you know if you got someone that says you know all of a sudden he's like you know he's playing he's been there a little longer than you thought he would be and all of a sudden he's like hey I need that deal like in five minutes then you know okay I, we need to finish this in the next five minutes or it's gonna be a wipe and it's, it's pretty much a waste of your time then so with like this with the prison of elders and the trials of Osiris if you're not able to do it the whole thing and not do a pretty good these new things that they're adding to destiny are going to be pretty much a waste of your time if you're not if you're not able to complete them okay once you're done with the five rounds uh what has been told i wish you would have saw it in the reveal but this is all you know this is all stuff that people are saying that that actually got to play the game at Monday is that you get a treasure key with this treasure key you go into another room and there's going to be chest and with the treasure key, you get to open one of the chests, and one of the chests will have a random loot. This loot can include exclusive Prison of Elders gear, or it can, or it can uh, include exotics. Now, I like the new exotic system that they're implementing in Destiny. I know a lot of people do not, but I do like it. The new system is different than the old system. The old system what we have now is that if you wanted Dark Below exotics, you had to do a Dark Below thing. You had to do the raid, you had to do the new crucible stuff, you had to do the new nightfall, the dark below stuff, you had to get the exotics, the dark below exotics, do the dark, dark below stuff. But with the new system, with the new House of Wolves system, you can actually get House of Wolf exotics doing vaulted glass raids. Now if you've done vaulted glass, even though it's a level, um, a level was it 27 or 26 and 30 or 27 and 30 uh, even though it's that lower level it's way harder than Crota even if you do Crota legit it's way harder you can go through Crota doing it legit with like three people you cannot go through Vault of Glass with three people it is a much harder a much more time-consuming ordeal all to that. But if you want that level, if you want that 365 Fatebringer, which as you can see I'm rocking the Fatebringer right now, if you want that 365 Fatebringer and you don't have it yet, you're gonna have to do Vault of Glass. Uh, Vault of Glass also uses a lot more communication than Crota does. You can kind of roll through Crota. If you've done Crota a bunch of times, you can kind of roll through it, and everybody shouldn't have their general test. But with Vault of Glass, it just seems like, even though it's the same every single time, it seems like you really need to communicate, especially when you're dealing with Atheon, especially when you're dealing with the Templar. Uh, with all that said, I am really excited for this House of Wolves drop. If you're like me, and you're to the point where you got all the gear, all the exotics, you've done all the grinding, and you're just in this point where you just like, I really don't know what to do now, you know, and House of Wolves just cannot come soon enough. Um, we got just over, we got, actually we got under a week now. Uh, today is Wednesday, May 13th. House of Wolves drops May 19th, the next Tuesday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. Um, so if you're like me, you're ready, you're ready to go and you're just doing this stuff just to check a box, just to, you know, practice makes perfect, slow, smooth, and smooth as fast. So, like always, or the second video, so like always, literally, I uh, will put my 
gamer tag for Xbox One in the description, the same as my Twitch account, and I'll also put down all the modifiers that I found in the description and the um, and the missions. Uh, there's like four to five missions that rotate between the three, and then Skull of Revenge. Uh, is that what it's called? Yeah, Skull of Revenge will always be the same. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Uh, towards the towards the end of this video, there's another reason why I always have my mic on, but no one ever uses the mic. Towards the end of this video, you'll see uh, me and the other guy die, and this one guy is just up in the area just dancing. So I sent, you know, he's there for a while, and I sent him a message saying, "Dumbass." He sent me a message towards the end of the video saying, you know, sorry, I was on the phone or whatever. But if he just would have had his mic on that was provided with the Xbox, um, you know, he, he could have been like, hey, I got to go make a phone call real quick. You know, I'm sorry, I'll be over here. And he doesn't even, he doesn't even hide in a safe spot. So, and I also make a mistake. You'll see up here, I go up, I go up to Omnigo and I start going into her. Let, I pretty much let them kill me so I can pop I can pop Radiance but I forget that I don't have Fireborn on. I have the perk where you take you take less damage when you're Radiance because I was playing Crucible. So make sure you're just ready to go so you don't come in a situation like that because if this was Nightfall and I came in a situation like that and you know I was the last person alive that would have been a sucky situation. Um, anyways, uh, thanks for watching so far. I know this is a longer than usual video, but I wanted to put out a lot of information this time. Uh, the video only has 10 minutes left, so if you want to continue watching the video, that'd be awesome. It is the strike. Um, the strategy we use, you know, I like the strategy where you just stay in the front room versus running through and kind of staying in that little tiny area where we're all close together. I kind of like this strategy, I find this strategy is a little more fun, and you kind of you kind of can take turns laying into it versus one person at a time, that other strategy with it though. You see in that little tiny, little tiny room up there, which is, I think is idiotic. Um, personal opinion, uh, the, the new Mars Strike, when they decreased the level on Ballasty Arc, do you think that was necessary or do you think that kind of broke it I personally me and people I play with you know we roll with Gallahorns and stuff like that so we personally think it's broken now you can kill him with Gallahorns with like five or six Gallahorns within before he even walks off his stage so I think personally I think it's broken I don't think they should have if you want to decrease time on that I think they should have maybe taken stuff off the tank Maybe taking stuff off the guards, but I don't think you should have messed with him. He's the end boss of the of the strike, and he's the easiest thing to take care of in the whole entire strike. So leave a comment below if you think that if you if you think that you know it's broken out, you think that you should fix it. But like always, you know, follow me. That'd be awesome. I plan on putting out more videos, especially next week when the stuff does drop. I plan on recording. Prison of Elders and all that, and thank you for watching my video, and, you know, see you guys around. Uh, continue watching the rest of the video if you want. It's totally up to you. Bye.
agents of Crota's will have been defeated. The Hive will not take this transgression lightly. But you, Guardian, have given them something new to fear. <laughs>